Well, hello, everyone, and thank you, Caesar, for that wonderful introduction. You know, it sounds funny to me when people say that I've been involved with Neolife since 1968, but then I guess if you look at me, you can figure that out for yourselves. Uh, it's wonderful to be here and be able to participate in this event. I always like the opportunity to share um, knowledge and insight about Neolife and the Scientific Advisory Board and the philosophies and things we do behind the scene that have resulted in so many breakthroughs and so many scientific discoveries and so many great products. Before I do that, though, I would like to uh, congratulate Dr. Beck. That was a great presentation, Susan. Uh, I've had the opportunity to meet with Susan a couple of times, and I can tell you that um, Susan fits right into the family like she's always been here. She's got what we're about in both her head and in her heart. So. Uh, you can look forward to seeing Susan continue to participate uh, uh, in a very strong way going forward. Now, today I want to take a little different tack. You know, Susan did a great job of taking you through a lot of research and a lot of products, but I want to take you on a little different journey this time. I want to take you on a journey that looks into um, some of the philosophical things that set Neolife apart from all of the others, particularly I want to look at this idea of based in nature and backed by science. Okay? Now that's easy to say. I just said it, and it just takes a few words. And a lot, of, a lot of companies try to get that across to you. But the reality is it's, it's different at Neolife. It's something that has been at our core since the day the company started. It's not something that we've added along the way. It is one of the building blocks in the foundation of this company that has allowed it to excel uh, throughout the world over all of those decades. Based in nature, backed by science. By studying that, we've learned a lot at the Scientific Advisory Board. Let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. When we talk about being based in nature, we talk about using nature as our guide. When we want to figure out what the body needs or what's the best way to approach solving a problem that has to do with our health, we first look to nature. We look to nature to, to look for the clues. We follow nature's blueprint. When it comes to nutrition, we focus on whole food because that's where nature intended we get all our nutrition. We look for the nutrient diversity that nature tells us that the human body needs, and we never give up on that path. We are committed to using nature as our guide at every step. Then we apply science, the other side of that nature and science equation. Science is the tool that we use to help unlock those secrets of nature. Nature doesn't always tell you what's going on. You have to look, you have to pay attention. Nature generally speaks in big dramatic words, but you have to look and pay attention in order to see and understand them. So we use science to unlock those secrets. We use science to identify those health-promoting bioactive substances that nature placed in our food supply that our bodies need in order to thrive. We use science to develop the technologies to identify those, to extract them, to stabilize them, and to deliver them in products that you can take and when they get in your body, they will do amazing things. We work to deliver that comprehensive nutrient diversity that nature intended we get. And of course, we do that by providing some amazing scientific proof. Now, there's a few things that we've learned right away about <laughs> Mother Nature's blueprint. One of those is that the human body is complex beyond imagination. You know, we might think we know what's going on. We know a little bit about it. But the more we look, the more we di discover that we don't really know all the answers. So again, this idea of coming back to nature, nature gave us the tools we need. It's just if you don't take the time to identify what those are and deliver them, you can run into problems. So the human body is incredibly complex. Think about this for a moment. You've got tens of trillions of cells, each performing hundreds of thousands of biochemical reactions every second. If you do the math, that's a lot of zeros, okay? When you think of all that, though, it runs pretty much on automatic. You don't really have to worry about it. It just sort of runs on automatic. Good thing, can you imagine taking care of and worrying about 70-some trillion cells and the 100,000 reactions each one is producing every, every second? It'd be it, it, uh, unbelievable, un incapable of doing that. 
But to keep it all running smoothly, nature gives us our immune system as well. It's part of that incredible complexity of the human body. The immune system is there to protect and sustain and allow us to thrive within the environment. The environment, as we all know, is not passive. There's a lot of things out there that are not good for us, and it's the immune system's job to protect us from all of those things. The immune system is essentially just a bunch of cells that are in your body that make up the tissues and organs that work to protect us against things like infectious diseases from bacteria and viruses and parasites that we may encounter and uh, harmful agents in the environment, things that we might breathe or drink or consume. That's all part of the immune system's job. The most important thing about the immune system is a healthy immune system has the ability to determine what is self and what is not self. Really important so that it can therefore, by knowing what is not self, identify invaders and get rid of them. And because of that, it's able to respond to infections and trauma and even uh, the presence of cancer cells when they occur because they are recognized as being uh, invaders, not cells. The, the immune system really doesn't need a lot from us, okay? It breaks down into two different pieces. It works really very simply. There's an innate immune system, which is to a great extent, that part of your immune system that's outside, the part you can see, your skin, is part of your immune system. And then the lining of your esophagus down into your gastrointestinal tract and all throughout your body and then the inside your lungs. All of those tissues, those very specific tissues, have the ability to fend off and protect us from invaders. They are that sort of first line of defense because very often the exposure comes through that pathway, either something we have breathed or passed into ourselves uh, from contact. So very important, innate immune response, first line of defense. The second part of it is the adaptive immune response. That's the part that responds when something new shows up, something that it hasn't seen before, and starts that battle to defend us and then produces what we call immune memory. Once it's taken care of that problem, it remembers that pathogen or whatever it was that was there before. So the next time it shows up, we get a head start and it gets taken care of. Most of us, probably all of us have had some sort of immune reaction like that where something has shown up and because our body is prepared to deal with it, we don't even know there was a battle. Immune system steps in and goes boom, really, really quickly. So that's part of the adaptive immune system. The innate is primarily in the outside of your body, though it does have some internal capacity, but the adaptive immune system is primarily inside your body where, where those invasions take place. Now, your immune system doesn't need a lot from us, but it does need a few things. It needs us to deliver a balanced diet. It needs us to get regular exercise and stay physically fit. It wants us to get good sleep because that's associated with immune function. It needs us to stay hydrated because water is a fundamental concept of how everything in our body works. And it asks us not to smoke or do other crazy things like that. And if possible, manage stress. All of those things are important. But particularly immune defenses per rely on that part of the balanced diet. The nutrients that are delivered through the balanced diet, those are the things that make the immune system work. Those are the things the body uses to build the immune system. It's the things the body uses to regulate the immune system. It's the things the body uses to clean up the mess that we all create in our body's metabolic mess every day. Those things are fundamental and that, nature's blueprint tells us, is one of the most complicated things that you can imagine doing. The reason is that the immune system needs a wide array of nutrients. It's not just a few. It's not just a few vitamins and minerals and a couple of protein amino acids. It is a complex array of things. Nature put before us a tremendous tapestry of, of nutrients that our bodies are made to thrive with. In their absence, we know that thriving becomes somehow compromised to one extent or another. First of all, the immune system needs all of the micronutrients and in balanced amounts. The micronutrients would be all of the, the vitamins, minerals, and trace minerals that are supposed to be in our food supply, dozens of things that are supposed to be there. It needs a wide array of phytonutrients like carotenoids, flavonoids, cruciferous compounds, polyphenols, garlic allium compounds, things like that, that all play important roles in our biochemistry and how we work. 
it needs omega-3 fatty acids. Dr. Beck did a great job of explaining the importance of, of good fats to a healthy body, but particularly the immune system needs a good balance of omega-3 fatty acids because they play anti-inflammatory roles, which I'll get into a little deeper in a few minutes. It needs probiotics, good gut bacteria. Gut, the gastrointestinal tract is a big partner of the immune system. In many ways, it is the biggest single element of our immune system is what goes on inside our gastrointestinal tract. And it needs high quality protein and all of the amino acids that that protein can provide. Really, really complex demand. The reality is that most people, maybe all, but certainly most people, do not get enough of all of these things they need. They simply do not get that diversity that Mother Nature intended. And that's where Neolife products come in. Neolife products are formulated to support and promote optimal immune function. They deliver the diversity that Mother Nature tells us we need and provides. They give us both the nutrient diversity and nutrient density that we know our body needs from all of our research. And they reflect the science that backs that all up. Now, what I want to do here is I want to just depart from maybe sessions that I've done in the past, and I want to look at what science, what this research has told us about individual nutrients, individual vitamins, minerals, and, and uh, phytonutrients and the like, and then look at what we know about them, and then look at a Neolife product sort of in, in juxtaposition to that, how that Neolife product is different and how it can help uh, make sure your immune system's getting what it needs. So I want to start with vitamin D, okay? Uh, vitamin D plays a immune regulatory role. Immune regulation is an important aspect of how your immune system works. You don't want it being too much of a hair trigger. You know, you want it to uh, um, be able to respond when it's needed, but it needs to be sort of in the background. So regulating immune function is an important role, and without vitamin D, the body cannot regulate immune function properly. We know that. It's fundamental for the activation of the body's own defense system, both first and second lines of defense, meaning the innate immune system as well as the adaptive immune system. It's an important first line of defense. It promotes healthy skin and endothelial, epithelial linings in your intestinal barrier and your lungs, again, part of your innate immune system. It stimulates the production of antimicrobial peptides uh, biochemicals that your body produces that are actually able to fight infections from viruses and bacteria and things like that. And all of the immune cells in your body, no matter what they are, depend on vitamin D to be activated. So without adequate vitamin D, you cannot have a fully active uh, immune system in your body. The reality is we know from a lot of research that uh, most people don't get nearly enough of vitamin D, uh, certainly not the optimal amount. So what we've done is we've introduced a vitamin D here recently uh, that takes care of that gap, fills that gap in the supply. It reflects nature's diversity when it comes to sourcing and delivery. It is naturally sourced, whole food based, contains a proprietary blend of both vitamin D3 and vitamin D2, which is important because those are the two biologically essential forms of vitamin D to the, that the human body can use and it is a proprietary formula. It is vegan D because it is entirely vegan and uh, uh, very, very bioavailable and easy on the body and uh, effective. Next, I wanna talk about carotenoids. Now, Dr. Beck did a great job of explaining carotenoids and why they're important and, and how come they play such an important role in our diet and are such a key member of our pro-vitality program. But carotenoids are a wide array of phytonutrients. There are dozens of them. They're the colorful uh, fruits and vegetable lipid components in fruits and vegetables. Uh, they are a source of vitamin A. Some of them are pro-vitamin A type, can be converted to vitamin A. So they are a source of vitamin A, which in itself is an important uh, immune factor. Uh, but carotenoids modulate the immune response in your body. What that means simply is we know that when carotenoid def is, are deficient in your diet, your immune system does not respond as aggressively or as promptly as it might or deliver as many of these immune system warriors as you might need. Conversely, when carotenoids are high in your diet, your body's ability to respond with that immune system to deliver those cells, those natural killer cells and other um, sort of specific, immune-specific cells, when carotenoids are present, it's able to 
produce more of those. And on top of all that, carotenoids function as very important antioxidants. That's a, a immune system-based biochemical sort of protection from the things that would do us harm. So really, really important. There are many of them. Carotenoid complex reflects nature's diversity. It too contains many. It is whole food derived, right? It's made entirely from carrots, tomatoes, spinach, red bell peppers, peaches, strawberries, and apricots. All of those things that you know you need, all of those things that, uh, you know, if you talk to Mother Nature, Mother Nature will, or you listen to Mother Nature, Mother Nature will tell you they play important roles. Carotenoid complex delivers a broad spectrum of them. We have identified more than 15, you'll see in this list here, 15 carotenoids that play incredibly credible roles in the body, either individually or in synergy with others. Really, really important. On top of that, carotenoid complex is one of the most researched and studied dietary supplements in the world. Over the years since it was introduced, we have done, we, the Scientific Advisory Board and others like researchers from the USDA and other institutes and agencies, have done a lot of research. We've done bioavailability studies, we've done identification studies, we've determined that these carotenoids that are present in the food are delivered in our product, and when you take that product, they get into your bloodstream, and when they get into your bloodstream, they do amazing things. They do things like protect that bloodstream from the oxidative events that could lead to the formation of plaque in your arteries. They defend your cells by taking up residents in cell membranes and defending them from oxidation, oxidative attacks. But one of the most important things that it certainly relates to this session today is that they have the ability to modulate immune function. We saw, or actually USDA researchers in their study of our products showed that in the absence of carotenoids, immune markers went down. But in the presence of carotenoid complex, the immune markers rose significantly and strongly, as much as 20%, or as much as 37% rather, in just 20 days really, really powerful response. And that's part of this idea that I spoke about a moment ago about how carotenoids modulate immunity. If they are present in your diet in abundance, you can expect your immune capacity to be at its best as well. Conversely, if they are deficient, then you can expect your immune capacity to be somehow compromised. Uh, so carotenoid complex bridges that gap. What we know about carotenoids in the diet, because they come from fruits and vegetables and so few people get the 10 servings of fruits and vegetables that we now know you need, uh, you know, less than 10% of the population, that somehow about 90% of the population is running around not getting enough of these carotenoids and therefore not uh, having a fully functional maximal potential of their immune system. Next, I want to talk about omega-3 fatty acids. Again, uh, Dr. Beck did a wonderful job of explaining the importance of fats uh, in the diet. I want to take a moment and focus on specifically on their role of omega-3 fatty acids, these good fats, in the immune system. They are vital for the balance inflammatory response we need for not only for recovery, but just for day-to-day -day living. If you think about it, there's certain elements of inflammation that are good for you. If you have a, if you cut your finger or you break an arm or something like that, you're going to get a localized inflammation. That's a natural component of your uh, immune system. It's a natural thing your body does. Producing a, and a localized inflammation is what creates a sterile field to keep bacteria and virus and other things from getting inside your body through that portal. So that sort of inflammation is important. But the sort of chronic inflammation we see driven by biochemistry in the background that, again, Dr. Beck mentioned, is an entirely different thing. I like to call that bad inflammation. There's good inflammation, the immune-based inflammation, and there's bad inflammation. That's the inflammation that usually driven by a poor diet that results in an increased risk of disease and acceleration of the aging process. So omega-3 fatty acids play key roles in that. They help the body produce resolvins. Resolvins are biochemicals inside us that help resolve inflammations. There's evidence that they can actually help combat infections even once it's in your body. They also help us produce protectants that have antibacterial and antiviral properties, again, within our body. So those are really important immune functions we need to pay attention to. Neolife Salmon Oil Plus 
reflects, again, nature's diversity for omega-3 fatty acids. So there's a lot of products on the market that tell you about one or two, EPA and DHA, and certainly those are important, but there's actually a family of eight when you eat these fish that you're supposed to eat, that nature put before us, these healthy sources of fish. And Salmon Oil Plus delivers all eight of those. It's whole food based, right? Salmon and a tuna, mackerel, sardines, a whole natural uh, food base. It delivers all eight omega-3 fatty acids. I won't try to list them. They got very long names. But they're all of the omega-3 fatty acids, the, new, the diversity of omega-3 fatty acids that nature intended our bodies receive. Okay. Like carotenoid complex, there's a tremendous amount of evidence to back, back this product up. It too is one of the most studied dietary supplements on the market in the world. Um, we've done many things. We've done bioavailability studies. Uh, Dr. Beck told you a little bit about those. Uh, we've done studies in concert with other researchers. Uh, we've done studies uh, uh, working within the, in, within the industry, doing studies within the industry and produced a tremendous amount of information. Uh, we know that that's bioavailable. We know that when you take this product, those omega-3s get into your bloodstream. We know that when they get into your bloodstream, they will take up residence in your cell membranes and reduce inflammatory forces on your cell membranes that are bad for cells that accelerate the risk of disease and aging. We know that they will improve your fatty acid, your inflammatory index, your fatty acid, omega-3 fatty acid index, and put your body in a more healthy state. We also know that in their, when you take them in your body, they will actually promote the production of resolvents. Salmon Oil Plus has been pr proven to be a resolvent promoting supplement. That's important because inflammation is a driving force. Re resolution of inflammation is important to healing. So you create an infl inflammation in the presence of a problem, and then you quench or resolve that inflammation in order for the healing process to occur. And through that work that we've done, we've been able to show that Salmon Oil Plus actually promotes the natural healing processes in the body. A very, very unique uh, element of immune function, right, is cleaning up the mess afterwards, I like to say. When something happens, you gotta go through and ultimately you've gotta heal it and make it go away. Now talk about vitamin C. Vitamin C, I think we all know that vitamin C is important for immune function. There's some con you know, sort of controversy, I guess, or conversation that goes on as to exactly what it does. But the evidence says that vitamin C is critical to immune function. We know from research that it benefits both the innate and the adaptive portions of immunity, that deficiencies in vitamin C increase susceptibility to infection. That tells you a lot right there. If you don't get enough, your probability of infections go way up. Uh, vitamin C supplementation accelerates the, the, the recovery process, meaning that in the presence of inadequate vitamin C, uh, a vitamin C in supplementation form will shorten the duration of an illness should you get it. It also protects cells from oxidative stress caused by harmful free radicals uh, that work to um, limit collateral damage due to excessive uh, inflammation, supporting faster recovery, as I mentioned before. Reality is, most people don't get all of the vitamin C that their bodies might need. Neolife vitamin C reflects the diversity that nature intended for vitamin C. Vitamin C, you never find it in nature all by itself. It's always along with a bunch of other phytonutrients. And that's something we discovered very early on, that there are all of these phytonutrients. So Neolife vitamin C's not only deliver high purity vitamin C from whole food sources, but deliver whole food bioactive substances like bioflavonoids and protopectins and things like that. Essentially everything that's present in an orange, they use multiple vitamin C sources, not only citrus like orange juice, but acerola cherries and things like that to make sure we get that. We use an exclusive Neolex, Neoplex, <laughs> Neoplex concentrate process where we extract all of those bioactive substances that are associated with vitamin C in food and deliver them in the product so that that diversity of things that Mother Nature says should be delivered with vitamin C are delivered in each product. Now I talk about vitamin E. Again, vitamin E is something that I think we probably all know is involved in, in immune function. 
But here's what science has told us. Vitamin E modulates immune function, much like carotenoids. If vitamin E is low, immune response or immune function is somehow compromised. And when vitamin E is abundant, that function is maximized. The presence of vitamin E strengthens immune response. It promotes immune cell proliferation, the generation of immune cells when an, when an attack occurs. And it enhances cell-mediated immune response. In other words, when those cells identify what's going on out there and they start emitting uh, messages to the rest of the body that something needs to be done, vitamin E helps make sure that cell-mediated immune response occurs uh, clearly and, uh, and, and effectively. Again, not, every, not everybody gets enough vitamin E. If you look at it purely from the RDA, you can say, yeah, maybe we all get enough of the basics. But <clears throat> There's a good deal of evidence to support that maybe we don't. Foods that are rich in vitamin E are not that broad, broadly available, but there are quite a few, and that's where we go to get our Neolife Vitamin E+. Plus. We use whole food sourcing, wheat, rice, and soy, right? We deliver all eight members of the vitamin E family, the four tocopherols and the four tocotrienols, not just one, not just alpha tocopherol, which is what it is important, but is what most uh, vitamin E supplements on the market deliver, but all eight of these members in balanced and nutritionally important amounts, just as Mother Nature intended. Both tocopherols and tocotrienols provide important antioxidant activity throughout the body, some of that being tissue specific, meaning that tocotrienols function as protectors or better protectors in some areas of the body than tocopherols do and vice versa. So the absence of one might leave an exposure that uh, you wouldn't want to have. So. Our product is complex and comprehensive, delivers that diversity that nature intended and your body needs. Next, I want to just touch on uh, zinc. Zinc is important. Zinc is an important nutrient to immune function. It's been in the news a lot lately because that importance is pretty obvious. Science tells us that zinc is needed for immune cell development and function in both the innate and the adaptive immune system. That if you don't have zinc, it's a core building block in all of those cells that that make up our immune system. If you don't have zinc or you have an inadequacy of zinc, you've got a real problem. It supports both, is essential for both the first and second line of defense. It contributes to the integrity of immune system barriers like your skin and your lining inside your uh, gastrointestinal tract and lungs, what we call mucosa. And evidence shows beyond a doubt that inadequacies or, de or deficiencies in zinc compromise immune function on many levels. So making sure you get enough zinc is important. Do people get enough zinc? That's still a matter for a debate, I think. There's a great deal of information that says that we might not be getting all we need. Certainly big portions of the population are not getting all they need. Neolife chelated zinc helps bridge that gap. It contains our unique double amino acid chelate technology developed by Dr. Arthur First, who again, Dr. Beck did such a great job of talking about and, and uh, uh, <laughs> excuse me, Kendra did such a great job of talking about as well. Um, Dr. First had this unique perspective. Being a toxicologist and cancer researcher, he looked at things and determined how cancers were started. But in the process, he learned about a lot about how they're stopped. And one of the things that he learned is that certain minerals, like zinc and calcium and others, have the ability to impede or prevent carcinogenic events from taking place in the body, sort of a component part of your immune system. He also knew that these sorts of minerals were very hard to get in your diet and hard to be bio, bioavailable, that the body has some difficulty taking them up. So he developed this unique double amino acid chelation process for us, where the mineral is enrobed, it's captured in those amino acids, and the body loves amino acids, so it's getting like a free pass into your into your digestive, from your digestive tract into your bloodstream. This product is both high purity and high potency. We use pharmaceutical grade natural raw materials. They deliver Neolife's 3D technology with disintegra or disintegration, dissolution, and dispersion, which is fundamental to how tablets break down and enter your body and how they enter your digestive tract. It's a unique uh, technology only from Neolife. So just to recap here, if you will, I want to go back and talk about what I told you. First of all, I want to tell you that we spend a lot of time following nature's blueprint. That based in nature, backed by science, is more than just 
a slogan for us. It's the way we do things. We've been doing them that way for decades. We will do them that way forever. <clears throat> because of that, we get insights into how things are going on in the body and what the body needs that you won't get if you don't spend that time doing that research. Right? Because of that, we are able to deliver incredible products with incredible nutrient diversity and fulfill all of those things that Mother Nature needs and deliver powerful formulations with powerful scientific support that they work. So Neolife products are products you can trust. They deliver the diversity only Mother Nature can provide by focusing on whole food, human food chain nutrients. They deliver both the diversity and the density that we know your body needs. And we provide through that, they reflect the science that backs all that up. So it's been a pleasure sharing this with you today. I uh, always look forward to this opportunity and we'll look forward to seeing you all again in the future. So thanks very much.